Hey guys, welcome back. It's me Rajan Sharma and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you that how can we create social media application in latest version of Android Studio. And uh, you know guys, the reason behind making this tutorial because so many of my viewers are facing problem when they try to create social media application project in latest version of Android Studio. And the reason behind that is, you know, I created this project in 2020. So it's been three years. So now when they try to create a new project, okay, so they face a lot of problems like Gradle problems, incompatible dependencies, okay, and uh, so many of them, fine. So this video is a solution for all the errors that you are facing while creating new version of social media application in Giraffe or this is the latest stable version of Android Studio on which we are going to work, fine. So this video, I will show you complete step-by-step -step procedure that you have to follow in order to create and run the social media application successfully, fine. And I will also provide you timestamp so you guys can go to the particular point of video in case if you face any error and you want to see that step again and again, fine. So I hope you guys will watch this complete video and so guys, but still if you face any error after watching this tutorial, so you can let me know in comment section, I will provide you the solution in next 24 hours or as soon as i can fine so and the important thing if you want the source code of this tutorial simply join membership so guys without wasting time let's start so guys very first of all we have to create a new project in firebase so i will create a new project of name updated sm updated social media application and then continue and then after that i will select a default firebase account create project and wait for a minute Till then we can create new project here as well, okay? So create empty views, then no. And here I will create a name, updated SM. Fine, you can see the configuration and values that I'm passing here. Package name, save location, language Java, minimum SDK 24. And here you should go with Groovy DSL build title, fine. And then next. So wait for a minute until this application is created by Android Studio, we can go back to Firebase. And now our project is ready, so we can simply proceed. Now you will see an interface where you will see all the information of your project like build, release monitor, analytics, engage. And here you can see that we have certain platforms which we can integrate our application into. Fine. So now here we will be working on Android. So simply click on this Android. Now it is asking for a package. So you just have to simply open the Android Studio because that's the place where we will get the package. So you just have to simply copy this one. Okay. And avoid the semicolon. And then after that you have to simply paste it here. And uh, then it will ask for a nickname you can give anything like uh, updated SM and then it is asking for a uh, signing report so we just have to wait until this cradle is sync successfully okay for getting the signing key so see that the cradle sync is successfully done so all you have to do is click on this cradle on the right side then this terminal and uh, here you have to type S I G N I N G signing report and then enter and wait for a minute it will generate the sha1 key fine so it is generated successfully we just have to copy this uh, from here control plus c go back on project paste it here control plus v then register application now it is saying us to download the google json file so simply download it and then you will get it here fine then after that you have to simply open the download folder of your laptop or downloads okay and then simply control plus c open android studio then close all these steps we don't need it now simply click on this android go to project open this open this click on this app control plus v enter and you can see that our services file are just below of the build gradle so you can check it here also just build gradle and google json file okay and after that click on next and uh, this time you have to select this groovy gradle option fine and uh, then after that you just have to simply copy it from here and go back in your android studio and uh, close this to here and this time you have to open your android project fine and then simply paste it here okay guys is soft adding this you have to go back here and then simply click on this java and you will get this okay copy and uh, then over your android studio and the second level of build cradle so guys here you have to paste it just after this here simply write uh, apply plugin and then paste it here okay guys and uh, remove this id
so guys after applying for this plugin simply copy this dependency okay and uh, then just paste it after this constant layout dependency control plus v and then control plus copy this one and then paste it here control plus v okay so guys now after that we will sync the project to check that is there any error or not fine so just simply click on this sync now and wait for the output guys as i have already created a video on how to create a complete android project from zip file but now i am showing you the demo of latest version so i will show you the complete process step by step how it's done okay so very first of all we will do is uh, i will close it okay and then i will open the folder where i have the social application hp android studio and then here i have the social app so i will open it app then src main java com example social app control plus a control plus c and then minimize it go back android studio close all these tabs alt okay everything is closed now click on this package control plus v enter and then overwrite for all now we have the java code okay same thing we will do for layout okay main resources then first of all we will go with this layout control plus a control plus c go back android studio and uh, So now in this open resources open layout select it control plus v enter then again overwrite for all close android studio go back in resources control plus uh, simply click on control select anim select menu and uh, then control plus c and after that go back in android studio click on this resources control plus v enter now we have the important directories which is animation and menu fine after that go back and this time we will copy the drawables control plus a control plus c okay go back and paste it overwrite for all then go back click on this drawable control plus a control plus c go back in android studio select this control plus v enter overwrite for all then after that again you have to go back and this time i guess we have done almost all the important values animation drawable drawable 24 layout menu now you know map map all these rest of the values you can give uh, manually also so for the values and values night i will close the application now okay so now i will open the social app application in android studio because we need the code of gradle and manifest okay so it's better to copy it from android studio because if you will copy it from the zip file so you may get confused so for avoiding that confusion you just have to simply open the social application in a different window and wait for a minute so guys now you can see that project is successfully open okay so very first of all i will go with the gradle part so i will copy the codes so okay, from here so you should copy the codes still here control plus c and then go back in updated sm open second level of gradle we already have this analytics and bom dependency so i will paste it after this then you have to copy this line multi-text enabled go back updated sm and then simply control plus v multi-text enabled and after that go back in social app and this time i guess uh, what's missing the you know important thing which is uh, the maven url because if you will skip this maven url then the dependencies will not work okay the application will throw an error every time you will run, try to run it because see when we add dependencies so we have to add this url because this url will tell the application that all the data that we have inside these dependency is uploaded here so you have to go there then you will get all the data that you need for the dependencies so you just have to simply copy this maven part okay and then go back in updated sm and open first level of gradle fine guys so as you can see that we have this complete code all you can do is you can simply control plus c okay and then go back and here simply control plus a and you can comment it and uh, then after commenting this code simply paste it here fine so now you can see that uh, 
our coding part is almost complete fine so now after adding this maven url here what you can do is uh, yeah manifest part is left so you just have to copy the manifest so for this open social app and then simply copy these permissions first of all control plus c and then fine guys and then later we will go with the activity so here comes the important thing fine now we can see that you only have to copy the codes from this activity payment activity profile viewed update email okay and uh, then till this service control plus c then updated sm open it and select this activity till this activity and control plus b and that's all you have to do for now okay so guys now you can see that we have this uh, theme error so you can go back in social app open the themes okay values and uh, styles style here you can see we have this folder so you can copy this base theme from here okay control plus c go back in see whenever we try to do copy pasting it does not mean that if you are copying new code so you have to delete the older ones you can do simply as you can see that we have these themes here okay so i will not delete this part of code i will simply increase few more styles fine and uh, now you can see that it is asking for colors so i will copy the colors thing also simply copy it control plus c go back and uh, simply make it control plus v fine so now i guess the colors problem is solved and now because we have the designs so the error here is also solved now it is asking for strings so we have to do same thing with the strings so just um Control plus C and then open strings and uh, control plus V and we will create it updated SM updated SM okay so now I guess our complete coding is done uh, dependencies uh, how you have to add the Gradle is you can see that uh, just simply first level of Gradle uh, your first level of grader should look like this okay and uh, you will get the complete this you will get this code if you will join the membership of my channel okay and uh, but still i'm showing you all the codes on the screen fine you just have to simply uh, comment this part of code okay and uh, it's better to comment than deleting fine so just simply comment it okay and then you can see that the complete part of code you will get on joining the membership and i'm also showing it on screen okay so you will have a better understanding fine so just simply do things like this fine and uh, yeah so guys now you can see on the screen that this is how your first level of grader should look okay and uh, second level should be and you know uh, also the important thing your this gradle should look like this okay and uh, then the second level uh, I have already shown you its coding that uh, it should look like this fine multi text enabled and uh, then after that this dependencies info build tool version I will provide every line of code okay when you will join the membership but still I'm showing you everything on the screen you can pause the video write down okay and uh, this is how it should look and uh, this is here fine so after uh, adding these things in Gradle when you will run the applications so you will face basic errors like uh, I'm going to show you in this okay like you can see that here it is showing that uh, this uh, uh, package uh, does not exist so what you have to do here is uh, because we have done the copy pasting so here guys instead of this social app you have to select it and make it updated sm okay so sorry uh, small updated sm and uh, then the error will be solved fine guys again you can do is uh, think now because just because I have shown you okay nothing is changed and uh, so this is how you have to make your griddle file okay I have shown you the complete code of all the three files how you have to change it and after that when you will do the sync so you will not face any error okay everything will work but when you will start running the application then you might face some errors like you know a package not found and something like this so it's not that complicated errors we can solve it just by changing the package as i have shown you here you just have to make updated sm instead of social app fine that's all you have to do and uh, yes so it's time to run the application 
again you can see we have another error so what you have to do is you have to simply write updated sm instead of social app Again, we will run the application. Again, you have to make it updated SM. Updated SM. Again, run the application. Again, we have an error. So, guys, now solving for solving that error, what you have to do is uh, you have to simply add enable jetify true and non final rest ID is false. Okay, you have to add these two lines in your Gradle and uh, then it will work. And now you can see that the application is running and launched on the application uh, device, emulator device. Okay, and one more change that I have to show you, which I have done, okay, is uh, here. I updated the version of this class path 8.1.1 and 4.4.0 so you also have to update it okay and uh, you can see that this is how your gradle should look now update both these dependencies and open gradle properties add these uh, three lines okay i think this one is already added you have to add these uh, rest of the two okay and uh, yeah and then it will work fine okay and after that when you will run the application so you can see that now it is launched in front of you every code every line of code i have shown to you and uh, you just have to comment this one okay and make sure that you are using this firebase sorry multi-text enabled dependency and after adding these lines in your greater properties when you will run the application it, it is working pretty fine so guys, now you can see that i am showing you this demo in the android studio latest version giraffe that how can you create the social media latest version inside this okay so i hope you guys like this tutorial and uh, this tutorial is helpful for you and see if I will close the application like uh, close project so you can see that the version is giraffe latest version of Android studio okay so I hope you guys like this tutorials please like share and subscribe my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update thank you for watching